I didn't start off knowing what polo was or thinking that I would be playing it. So just being able to play it, it's changed my life. My name is Marisol Jimenez. I'm 14 years old and I joined Work to Ride when I was seven. What child from the inner city youth has the opportunity to play polo? That's unheard of. It's a big thing for her to be able to ride horses and play polo. You know, polo is a rich man's sport. <laughs> when Marisol was a year old, I went to prison for selling drugs. I was incarcerated for five years. And then upon my release, um, I wanted something different for myself and I wanted something different for my children. So I found the Work to Ride program. The Work to Ride program basically started with an idea that I had about you know, using horses and youth, combining those two to make a difference in the lives of children. Our facility, Shimoni Equestrian Center, is located in Philadelphia and it is bordered on two of the most crime-ridden neighborhoods here in Philadelphia. One is North Philadelphia and one is West Philadelphia. We have children that come from those neighborhoods. Being in the program has kept me away from a lot of stuff like getting involved in drugs and gang related things that usually happen in the street. When I come to the barn I'm always very happy. I'm usually excited, usually ready to <laughs> ride. I know. The horses that we use in the program are donated. The kids in the Work to Ride program are primarily responsible for taking care of horses. On any given day, they're responsible for chores, cleaning up the stables, taking care of any medical needs that any of the horses may have. It's a big responsibility. It is a lot of work to do, but all the work like is contributing to the one important thing is taking care of the horse. And if take care of the horse, then we're able to ride, and it all leads up to playing in games and just good management. I feel like I've built an individual bond with each and every horse we have at our barn. Oh, yes. I want to that was a good idea. Oh, no, right? Like... Being at the barn is very, like, homey. It's very comfortable, and I feel safe. We all treat each other like brothers and sisters. Who's Mr. Wolf? Yeah. Well, you don't need enough. No, you just need to. You want to? You want to bring in your mallets? Yeah. We came down to Virginia to have a game with the team, and we're going against Battlefield today, and trying to have some fun. Josh, you're going to ride Ashley. Mo, you're going to ride Phantom. Madi, you're going to ride Midnight. Yash, you have the slowest. I do? You do. I like to travel because there's more people to meet and maybe better um, places to play. And it's a lot of fun. We travel to a lot of different places, so we will travel the whole northeast of the United States from top to bottom pretty much playing at different clubs and, and different teams. Traveling to play polo costs a heck of a lot of money, yes. So we do a lot of fundraising, and if we can afford to go, we'll go. And if we can't afford to go, then we won't. Mo, didn't I tell one of you guys to go to goal? It's not always about winning, but today they won by five or six goals. I'm really happy that we won our game today. 
Is there one dial? This picture is the photograph that was taken when the boys won the national championship, polo championship in uh, Charlottesville, Virginia in uh, 2011. And they were the first African-American team to do so in the history of the United States. Very proud of them. They've made national history. Our main focus is to get kids through high school and possibly into college. So polo we use as a vehicle, obviously, to have kids kind of stay on track, do well in school, get good grades, develop responsibility, and it builds self-esteem. This program has made me a better person overall. I feel like I've learned more teamwork and also learned more responsibility. My goal with polo, I want to be a professional, but I don't know where it's going to go at this point. Like, I know I can get better, I can improve, because there's coaches, there's people here to help me. I'm not sure how far I can go, but I just want to keep going, keep moving forward.